So step five is called Embrace Video Learning. Now, the selections that I've chosen for this are really about using video that's already out there for students and harnessing them for educational purposes. So first of all, there's a quick study by Education Week that talks about just how video learning for students has exploded. I think we probably know that, but at least it's a good kind of examination of how video can be used. And, you know, I think if you're a parent and you're always concerned about what kids are watching, but <clears throat> I can say from personal experience, my son learns a lot from YouTube and it's really, um, I think surprising and in most cases a pretty good thing. He's really learning some some good stuff. So the next kind of category here are some video assessment tools to use and Common Sense Education has put some of those together, some best interactive video apps. One of my favorite uh, tools to use is a tool called Edpuzzle and basically that you can bring in your own videos but you could also bring in YouTube videos and they have a variety of, of repositories for videos, teachers can bring those videos in <clears throat> and then they can embed questions within the videos. And I always think back to one of my early um, education courses and they talked about, you know, the worst place to ask a question when showing students a video is at the end because they'll tune out mostly until they get to the end. So uh, Edpuzzle allows you to ask questions within the video and it'll also grade it for you and it also will connect with Google Classroom if you're a Google school. So that's a great resource for you to check out if you're a classroom teacher and want to uh, use video powerfully in your class. Also there's PlayPosit, which is very similar to Edpuzzle. It's a little different. Um, there's In both cases, there's a freemium and premium. I think with Edpuzzle, you'll get more free features out of it than you would with PlayPosit, but PlayPosit is also the same thing. You can bring in videos and embed questions in it. Classhook is a great site. I'll just kind of showcase this one quickly. Classhook looks at all the videos out on the web. And it, again, it is just for teachers. So you can sign in for free. You can start creating accounts. There is a premium account, but I think for the free freemium, you can do a lot. So you can look up, uh, you know, say if you're looking for a topic of interest, say you wanted to um, look at the Civil War, Again, you could be more specific. You can even choose grade level, clip length, all that sort of thing. And then it will bring you uh, various uh, you know, videos based on your speech in the Civil War. And then you can, um, so for example, in the movie Gettysburg, uh, Colonel Chamberlain's speech is here. And it will link it to uh, standards and it'll tell you grade level. It'll tell you topics. And you can just start making kind of playlists of these videos to use. Uh, for various concepts, and so it'll really kind of enhance your teaching. So that is class hook. I uh, highly recommend that one. Pretty good. And then you probably everyone has heard of TED Talks. Well, there is a, uh, another kind of companion site called TED Ed, and that has, again, all kinds of videos, but a lot of them are created videos by teachers and educators, and then they're linked with um, content-based uh, uh, quizzes and uh, places that you can actually have your students interact with the, the, the videos and answer questions. So, and, and they're developing this site uh, all the time. So new lessons are being posted. So there's all kinds of topics that you can choose from. And again, you can sign in with your, um, you know, school-based uh, account. So check out TED Ed. I think you'll really like it. It's high quality and some really inspiring uh, videos and talks and, and lessons that are already created for you. Khan Academy has been around for a long time. Uh, definitely an excellent source for having students watch videos and answer questions. Uh, they've been around for quite some time. Again, the freemium version does a lot. Flipgrid has gotten a lot of popularity. It basically allows kids to create a response instead of writing an essay. Say you as the teacher ask a question, the kids will be able to respond in video and uh, they'll be able to see each other's video. So it kind of makes it more personalized. You can set a lot of privacy settings, so it's just locked within uh, your class and the students you want to see, because you certainly don't want video out on the web in general. So it is, it's, it's actually part of Office, it's part of 
I believe Microsoft has purchased it, if I'm not mistaken. And so I think um, there's some reputable uh, background behind that. And uh, this was for a math teacher that was uh, liked video and she recommended this. So feel free to just check out that one. If you're a math teacher, uh, there's some videos about uh, how to do a thing. So I hope these will just give you a taste for those. Again, I, there's, a, there's a lot to these. And I hope uh, if you have a class, uh, you consider uh, Ed Puzzle Class Hook. I think for sure are uh, must viewing.